Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and what you're seeing is Second Life, it's a Lantern Core avatar on Second Life, and I'm on Firestorm Viewer, many of you don't know what's happened with Second Life, this is a system change, it's not just with Firestorm by any means. Any means. What Second Life has done is they have introduced this new thing called Avatar Complexity, which I'm going to show you. Ostensibly, what they're saying is they want to reduce lag. You see, they're too cheap to buy new servers, so. You know, the two sheets you do new servers, which would be faster and be able to handle the load on Second Life. So what they do is they punish people who have complex, beautiful avatars by changing them into something called Jelly Bean, which means they basically become a big uh, colored blob. Usually red, I guess. I don't know. It's all the same color. I just found out my... Uh, RP avatar is being displayed as a big red blob, which really screws me over because I play a Tuscor named Herbert on Second Life, and the other role players need to see me as a boar. So, let's take a look. We're going to go down to Avatar Health, then show Avatar Complexity Information. It's not giving me a number, but uh, it says one rank, whatever that means. Now, I'm going to change into my Boar Avatar. Give me a sec. Your avatar complexity is 65,791, is what it says. And as soon as I add the Wild West meter, it gets worse. Sixty-five, seven, seven, five, and now I'll add the add-ons. I have to do this in steps, or second scrape, second white screw up, and it won't put my avatar on correctly. So we're gonna go add to current outfit. <laughs> Love to be able to just drag and drop, and there he is, but it don't work like that. Your avatar complexity is six sixty-five thousand eight fifty-nine. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the graphics, and there's a setting in the graphics that we can use. Unfortunately, it doesn't help you with your avatar. It helps you with other people's avatars, but not yours. We're going to go to the graphics and then general tab. As you can see, uh, Herbert here is kind of on the low end of the scale. At 65,000 and change. It will be 6th or 7th. On the scale of complexity. And when this is on the limit, it'll uh, show people's avatars no matter what. If you turn it way down, it won't show hardly anything. It'll show only 
an avatar that comes within that number, from what I understand. <clears throat> but you can set that. It won't help you with your avatar being seen by others. This is a problem. So, like it says, Second Life decided to punish. They're acting like liberals, and they decided to punish people with good avatars by making those appear as big blobs, while people with cheaper, cheesier avatars uh, probably don't have to worry about it. Cheaper, simpler, cheesier avatars. So it's classic liberalism, bring down the top instead of trying to bring up the bottom. Classic liberal liberal thinking. So we're going to click that, and then we're putting this on hold, and we're going to go to the pages. I put a post on the uh, chat groups there, and the general chat group for Second Life, and hopefully I get an answer, but I'm not holding out any hope there's anything I can do about it. I tried getting uh, Tuskboard avatars on what they call it, the marketplace, and all there were were anthros and bears, and no real Tuskboards at all. Hang on. Alrighty, here we have a Second Life avatar. What I did was I googled Second Life jelly bean. What is Avatar Rendering Complexity? Remember, they just did this, by the way. Avatar Rendering Complexity is a numerical score representing how difficult it is to draw an avatar, ranging from a few hundred to hundreds of thousands. It is affected by your avatar shape, clothing, and attachments. Since avatars are some of the most visually detailed objects in Second Life, avatars with complexity stores Scores at the upper end of the range can severely impact performance of the Second Life viewer. Being aware of your own avatar complexity and that of those around you can be an important part of managing performance of your viewer and how your avatar affects the performance of other Second Life residents. So, there you have it. So what they've done, like I said, Let's see if they have a picture of one of these god awful things. You can find that on another YouTube video. Why are some avatars solid colors and what is a jelly doll? Avatars can be rendered as silver, solid cover, colored silhouettes, a special form of imposter to call a jelly doll if they exceed the avatar complex, complexity threshold set by the maximum avatar complexity slider in the advanced graphics preferences window. That's what I just showed you. This greatly reduces the amount of work your computer must perform in order to draw complex avatars resulting in improved performance. That's bullshit. They don't want to invest in new servers and so they're punishing people with good avatars is what it amounts to. That is bullshit. And, you know, the reason I know this, like I said, Herbert the Boar appeared as a big red blob, apparently. So this could spell the end of role-playing on Second Life. I don't know. How can I find out the complexity of my avatar is too high? If some of the people around you see a jelly doll, their viewer reports that information to Second Life servers. Servers will turn in, in turn, send you a message to let you know in general terms whether or not you are being fully rendered by the residents around you. The message appears as a notification that also includes your avatar's complexity score and is updated when one of the factors changes significantly. No specific information is provided to you about which residents are able to render your avatar or what their maximum complexity settings are. 
So, bottom line is, if you have a good avatar, you're going to appear as a blob to people. That's what this amounts to. You're, how can I reduce lag while still drawing other avatars? The setting max number of non-imposters non controls the number of avatars nearest to your camera that are that will be fully rendered, and any avatars beyond that number will be drawn as an imposter. The imposter is drawn with fewer lighting and texture effects, making them look less realistic. Some people describe it as looking like a cardboard cutout. Imposters are also updated less frequently, which means their animations will not look as smooth as a fully rendered avatar. And go to me, preferences, click graphics. Click the advanced settings, find and just max number of avatars. Uh, slider in the avatar section. I put a post on general uh, tab on Second Life's discussion groups, but I don't expect to get anywhere with it. I expect they will tell me, well, you're all white. It's not going to harm your avatar as long as it isn't much, much, and blah, blah, blah. That's what I expect. But I'm going to get... I'm going to lay this down. This could end, this could bring an end to role playing in Second Life. It's possible. I don't know whether it will or not. It's just a shame. I don't know. This is classic liberalism. You bring down the top. You don't bring up the bottom. You bring down the top. Classic, classic liberalism. This is a classic mental disorder of liberalism update. <clears throat> I've already, like I said, I've already been told my uh, tusk bore avatar is a big red blob. So, I don't know whether I'll be able to role play or not. And that's the only one I want to use anymore because... I simply don't have time for anything else. And role play, you know, people expect to see an authentic sign, not a bunch of big red blobs running around. I haven't seen it, seen this because mine is set to max no limit. So as a result of that, I haven't seen it. If I set it down, I would. Oh, God. I feel like the uh, statue left his finger in the dike and then ten more holes up here. There's always something. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Uh, Second Life may consider itself scolded. The wild boar scolds Second Life. No artifacts of Mars.